Hey, greetings everyone. Greetings my brethren and my sisters. You you guys already know who this is. This is AKA Nicole So White on Facebook, AKA Trini Love Still Blazing. Look, I have a question that I wanted to ask you guys today and I have a little topic that I wanted to just, you know, jump right into and, you know, conversate with y'all, but do you think that watching too much soap opera and being raised in a different cultural background and being brainwashed or even manipulated by the system and by your elders can change the way a person thinks or the way they look at life and accept life that's one question the other question i have is i, I always ask my brethren and my sisters this question when we vibing do you want to be of the world or do you want to do the things that feel right in your heart or right in the eyes of the creator when I was younger, I was taught that God created Adam and Eve. Being raised in the Caribbean from African parents, we was taught a lot about morals, respect your elders, respect, respect your, your neighbors, love God, righteousness, and always try, you know, to do the right thing. We, was, we, was, we also taught that, you know, sex before marriage is a sin. Everyone was taught that it's a part of the commandments whether it was written by God, Moses, or the Vatican them, some things is just damn common sense to me. And if you know God is real, and God is around, and He is the universe, then why not allow God, Spirit, to guide you? Today, sex and friends with benefits is a trend. It's like a lifestyle. You know, some of us think that it's okay to have friends with benefit, but for real, What's the benefit of having sex with my friend? You know, I asked some of my brothers and my sisters the same questions and they responded like, you know, the benefit is sex, you know? So what is a friend? You know, it, it, it have me kind of like, you know, confused. So when I lived in Trinidad, I always knew that, you know, once you start having sex with someone, he then becomes your man or you become his girl and, you know, your husband or boyfriend or whatever like that. But when I came to America, I've learned different. You know, maybe this started, I don't know if it started when Adam and Steve got involved, but I don't agree with the customary of things, especially when these things are not satisfying to one's spirit. It doesn't make sense to me. It sounds wrong, it sounds backward, and it's misguided. How can sex be a benefit? And you, he is not your husband. She is not your wife. He doesn't want you to be his girl and, and, and she don't want you to be her man. You understand? So what, what's really going on here? What benefit am I getting out of this? It more sounds like he's benefiting off of you and his benefit is getting that good, good pussy because that's all he wants. The question is, do they really deserve it? What is a friend? I think it's wrong. Again, to each his own. If a man wanted to be your friend, then crossing the line should have never took place. You know, and what happened is, we, you know, we have sex, you know, our friendship, it develops, you know, we get closer. Then we start to introduce each other as friends. We all come together now, everybody is friends. And all these different spirits join in just by one man because we allow him to continue his nonsense or to continue his culture that's jacked up or even his practices, his wrong, crazy practices. You know, that shit is cross up and it's crazy. I just think that we as women have to put our foot down and stop accepting the wrongs of the world and start pushing for the right things from the world then we will be more happier and satisfied people. I shouldn't say happier because, you know, happiness is really within oneself, you know. So we'll be more satisfied people because we stand for what we know. And I don't like to believe in anything. I don't like to say I believe because I and I don't believe in anything. I know that God is real. I know who is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You understand? So in, in, in this time where we live in, in nothing about what it is you know. It's, it's in nothing about what you believe. It's about what you know. And what you know is what you know. 
If you know you got twenty dollars in your pocket and somebody asks you, hey, you know, Nicole, where's the scene? You got money in your pocket? I got twenty dollars in my pocket, but I'm telling them, man, I believe I got twenty dollars. And so how can I believe that? I know I got twenty dollars, so it's the same thing. In this time we got to know everything. It ain't about a belief and nothing. So if you think that low of yourself to have a man just because he got some good cocky then you deserve all his negative disrespect black woman a lot of men and women was not raised by geniuses or by nurturing people so they become lost and accept negative easily i'm not accepting less because i know i deserve the best and if you like the pussy so much then do the right thing according to beyonce but if you want it then you better put a ring on it Oh 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 If you want it and you like the pussy so much, then do right, else then you gotta step. You understand? It's it's all confusing, you know, to each his own again, you know, but it leaves me wondering all the time because it had me thinking that I wonder if every girl my guy friend meets are they friends or or it's the same thing, vice versa. A man gonna think the same thing. Are they all friends? I wonder if they're doing the same things that you know me and him do together. That's that's why I'm confused about because I'm gonna think that he fucking all his friends. You understand? When it's not even so, you know. So, are we accepting nothing or less from your man by him saying we are just friends? But we, on the other hand, as women. You know, we treat our man and our friends like they are our man. We treat our friends like, like he's the king. He's the king man. You understand? We need to stop. We need to stop that shit for real. We need to let friends be friends. Let your man be your man. Let your husband be your husband. Let your boyfriend be your boyfriend. You understand? And keep it real as that because I always hear this saying, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And the term friend, it's being you it's being misused and put into a negative way for their convenience for 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 those kind of people convenience you know because he say we're just a friend and i say he's just a friend oh boy you got what i need and you say we're just a friend but he wants to get my stuff all the time so again people what's a friend you know and all i gotta say is people we only receive what we allow for real you understand so the bottom line is you know we gotta check ourselves as humans as women and as men and we gotta decide look are we gonna do this or you know we we just gotta strive to do the right things i know nobody we wasn't created with the same mind with the same heart or with the same mentality but we can we can program ourselves to be that way we can program program ourselves to do you know to do anything that is righteous to do anything that is right in our heart because god is real god is right you understand so once god is real god is right and you start practicing these things then everything becomes easy you understand people just used to doing a whole lot of bullshit you understand and i and i and standing no bullshit so i hope you guys like this topic and i wanted you to you know to Give me your feedback and tell me what you think about this whole situation with friends with benefits because I got friends but how much benefits I got. Anyway, you know what, you guys have a blessed one. Peace and love.